that I'll be explaining the reinforcement of RCC beam, the minimum and maximum reinforcement of RCC beam based on two international codes. First, we have IS-456, this is Indian standard. So based on IS-456 and BS-811 part 1 1997 so first of all we need to understand what are the types of reinforcement main reinforcement i'll be talking about only main reinforcement i'm not discussing about the shear reinforcement or stirrups in this video so main reinforcement we have two types of main reinforcement in a rcc beam tension reinforcement and compression reinforcement so for both we have certain clause in both these international Codes. So first we will talk about IS-456-2000. The IS-456-2000 we have clause uh, 26.5.1. This is on page number 46 and 47 of IS-456-2000. So the minimum tension reinforcement as per IS-456 this clause 26.5.1 this AS upon BD is equals to 0.85 upon Fi. This Fi is grade of steel. Grade of steel that is reinforcement. This is constant. B is your width and D is effective depth of your RCC beam. So unknown is A. So AS we can easily get using this formula. So the minimum tension reinforcement as per IS456. So in actually this beam, beam is a flexure member, so concrete is good in compression. So we may get, uh, we may require uh, compression reinforcement or sometimes we don't require compression reinforcements. So that now we have consider, con considered this, we have, we have discussed about the maximum minimum, minimum reinforcement, tension reinforcement. Now we will talk about maximum tension and maximum compression reinforcement. As per IS-456, maximum compression reinforcement should not exceed 4% B into D. This D is overall depth and B is width of the beam. Same for tension reinforcement, 4% maximum and it, sh it should not exceed 4% of B and D. So this is the maximum reinforcement of beam, main reinforcement. These are, I am talking about only main reinforcement main reinforcement so tension reinforcement minimum we have criteria maximum tension reinforcement 4% it should not exceed 4% of B into D and maximum compression reinforcement should not exceed 4% of P D so IS 456 page number again page 46 and 47 clause 26.5.1 of IS 456 now let's go to Part 197. So this BS8110 Part 197. So we have tension reinforcement and compression reinforcement clause. So the as per BS8110 Part 1, 8110 Part 197, the, the tension reinforcement in a rectangular section, in a rectangular section is for F, 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 FY that is grade of steel for 250. We have two grade of steel 250 and 460 so for 250 the re for rectangle section the minimum reinforcement tension reinforcement is 0.24 percent and the minimum reinforcement for fe 460 is fi 460 is 0.13 percent so this is these are tension reinforcement minimum criteria so minimum criteria for your main reinforcement for compression reinforcement rectangular section, uh, this this is your for, for both FY FY 250 and FY 460 same percentage that is two percent. The 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 maximum reinforcement as per BS 8110 Part 1 1997, the tension and compression reinforcement should not exceed four percent. That means tension reinforcement maximum should not x should not be greater than four percent and maximum compression should not be greater than four percent these 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 are covered under table 3.25 
BS, this BS 8110. So, so you can refer this table 3 point. For there are also case specific uh, reinforcement like for flanged beam, you have web, your web and your web is in tension, your flange is in tension. So those condition specific reinforcement, there, there are also condition or case specific reinforcement criteria. So those those criteria you will get in table number 3.25 but these are for rectangular so my, my, mostly we have used rectangular beams so we have considered rectangular beam for both IS code and BS8110 so these clause are covered these these criteria are covered under table 3.25 of PS. A 8110 part 1 and page number page number 87 to 88 so these these are page numbers for BS 8110 part 1 1997 so in case if you have any doubt regarding maximum and minimum reinforcement in beam you can ask through our comments you, you can try to uh, verify these things through uh, this these uh, mentioned codes if you, you should uh, uh, you should make a habit of reading these codes so that you get all the, these things will be very clear. So if, if you have any doubt, you first you refer those codes. If those doubts are not clear, then you can you can comment. We will try to explain those doubts. We can try to clarify those doubts. So these figures are directly taken from these codal provisions. So the, co the, the section, the clause number is also uh, mentioned, I just mentioned the clause number 3.12.6.1. So this is the clause for from VS 8110. So you can just refer the clause clauses which I have mentioned, which I have mentioned in this this these IS IS code clause 26.5.1 for minimum and maximum reinforcement of B and VS code 3.1.3.12.6.1. Uh, so hope this this lecture will definitely help you if, in case if you have any doubt you can uh, you can refer those quotes and you can try to clarify thank you have a nice day and take care